Hi again. I'm Nirmal Rajaratnam, product manager responsible for uh, all of wireless networking and branch and campus. I'm going to be talking to you about identity-based personal wireless network. In today's world, more than 70% of you, whether you're a campus or a corporate or an industrial environment or healthcare or education, you're going to allow more than 70% of devices to be your personal devices, and they are of varying types. So the challenges today are when a user brings in their personal device, they lack privacy because they have to enter into an existing network and they have to rely on their administrator to onboard their device. Uh, and if they need privacy, then they have to try to manage their network or modify the network becomes complex and they have to depend on their administrators as well. Moreover, today's world, there's a lot of IoT devices and they are of varying uh, different complexity as well as um, legacy kind of a format. So it's not easy to take care of all of that. So the solution that we have is a very simple identity-based, meaning you just give it a form of a URL or a email kind of a identity. And based on that, we generate a uh, key and you just onboard your device. For instance, let's say uh, Mr. Jack here who lives in his house, uh, he wants to onboard his device. He has an AOS 10 um, access point already on his network. Let's say he wants to connect his, uh, you know, mobile device onto the access point. He sends his uh, uh, identity here, and then based on that identity, the access point is going to go talk to the uh, Aruba Central uh, Cloud Auth, and Cloud Auth is going to return back saying that yes, I know who that is, and provide a token uh, for that. Let's say we look look like a key, for instance that he gets a key, and then using that key, he onboards the device. The same key can be used for onboarding all of his devices as well. So it becomes very simple for him to onboard with just one token and with the same identity. He doesn't have to depend on the administrator at all. And what this gives you is because it is identity-based, any other residents around them or other people will not have any access to it because we restrict it based on what we call as a personal area network, or in short, think of it as PAN. That is what we actually define based on the identity that is default. You don't have to make any changes to your network as well. In addition to that, let's say, for instance, I need to you know, publish something from my, uh, from my mobile device onto this TV, like a Chromecast or, or stream something there. When this device joins, it will also inform about what other services are enabled. So it's going to publish that information to Air Group, and Air Group will create a policy saying that all these devices who are part of the same key can only be accessed by this particular user. Now, anybody else will not be able to access it. So this is in a residential environment where, let's say you are an apartment complex, the next neighbor should not be able to see it, and you want to protect your access to only your uh, devices, and nobody else should be able to access them as well. And all these different type of you know, PlayStation or mobile device or a doorbell or your uh, Wi-Fi enabled cameras, all of them are onboarded. So now you can take the same existing things and bring it on to your corporate environment, which is, which is industrial or healthcare, like I mentioned before, where now it could be either network-based or location-based. Let's say, for example, I am a student who live in this dorm room, and I want to only uh, be able to onboard my devices very similar to that, but restrict to myself alone and nobody else able to see it. Now, I can do the same key-based approach without making any changes to my network at all and make that restriction. Same thing I could do for healthcare. For example, let's say I'm patient care, and uh, anybody who comes and you know looks at the patient, for example, uh, only the people who are in that location should be able to access that particular devices there, whether you're a doctor or a nurse or a infrastructure person or whatever the case may be. All those things can be extended here as well. Same thing for you know IIoT uh, environment where I want to spe specifically restrict to that. So based on this identity-oriented uh, or identity-based personal wireless network, you get a simplified identity-based. All you do is give your uh, username, and then you get a simple token to simply onboard uh, as a digital key almost. And it is privacy first because you don't have to go talk to anybody. It's just simply based on your identity that you get onboarded. 
you don't have to go to the administrator for onboarding your device. You just use your key and you get uh, simplify, simply onboarded. And you don't have to make any changes to your network as well. So this applies to any kind of an environment, whether it is a corporate, complex corporate network, a big network with a bunch of VLANs or a simple, a very simple network, but still you want privacy, you can do that as well. So this can be extended from a residential environment to a, any complex a kind of a corporate environment to keep it very simple, but privacy first with security and ease of onboarding. Hopefully this was useful to you and so you will probably use the AOS 10 combination with Aruba Central to make your networks personal and private enabled. Thank you for watching and uh, for more information, check out our website. Talk to you soon in another video.